Seems to be confusion after part of the supporting structure of the M1 South Bridge at the Poison's off-ramp in Johannesburg collapsed yesterday. The Johannesburg Roads Agency will be assessing the extent of the damage. To get more clarity on this, then I'm joined on the line by JRA Acting Managing Director Siabonga Nodu. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Nodu. What is the situation with this bridge? Initially, you issued a statement that said a part of the bridge had collapsed. You then said you wanted to correct that and basically said it's systems that have to do with water drainage that have affected um, you know, the, this, the, the, the structure underneath the bridge. What's the situation? Okay, uh, Tulas, uh, good afternoon. And uh, perhaps uh, first things first, what had happened uh, yesterday is that a statement came out, but that statement came out from the JMPD that was based on uh, the JMPD having dr driven past the structure and having a look and uh, then a statement was given that referenced the fact that uh, they, 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 there was a collapse. Now, uh, just to clarify, the, I can assure you that the bridge structure as it stands um, has nothing on it. There is no crack. Uh, there is nothing that has shifted. There is nothing that is broken on the bridge structure itself, be it the bridge decks or the pillars holding the bridge in place or even the counterbalancers under the bridge, which actually hold the bridge in place uh, from, 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 from underground. What has actually happened is that the, there's a section of, on the road that you would see that collects the water, which would be a part of your stormwater, drainage system would actually uh, take the water uh, 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 through a, a, a drain, a, a drain um, all the way into a collection point under the bridge. What had happened there is that uh, one of the drains seems to not be functioning very well. So the water was moving towards one drain. And as a result of a, a, a number of factors, uh, for instance, there was uh, some rubbish thrown into that drain, uh, which caused some blockages, and 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 also the water from the V drain, uh, therefore did not come out and went straight to the gutters that should take it to the water collection point under the bridge. So the water went sideways. As it went sideways, um, it went into a crack that was on the uh, section uh, with the with the paving blocks under the bridge and uh, managed to get under that and actually uh, eroded mm. the sand that is holding uh, that section in place. So the bottom uh, line, Mr. Nodu, is that yeah. you are saying yeah. that this, the bridge structure itself continues to be uh, safe for use. Kind of hard to take that to heart, though, when one looks at the visuals that we've been showing our viewers now. It would appear to be something of a shaft that's underneath, underneath a bridge that people are expected to drive over. What is the bridge standing on, for example? Um, as I have indicated, um, the, the bridge from underneath, and I showed it uh, to, to, to your journalist earlier on, that there is a structure there that serves as a counterbalance, uh, which is made of uh, about three pillars. They cut across that whole section that is covered uh, with the paving blocks and the sand. That is what the bridge structure is. It is not the section with the sand. I mean, Similane, there is no way uh, that uh, you would uh, put a bridge on, 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 uh, on sand, for example, as, as, as the basis to hold it onto place. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a concrete structure under the bridge, concrete structures that hold the bridge in place. And that's what I'm trying to explain. And these However, concrete structures would be beneath the surface, beneath what we are seeing, uh, that area that looks like a shaft where some of these yeah, yeah. workers were working from. So you are saying there's a structure even beneath that, which is where the bridge is anchored. Okay, so where the workers are working, in fact, where the... The, uh, the, the, that hole, uh, if I would call it, where the sand has actually been eroded and the, the, the paving blocks have actually uh, fallen on the side. There is a structure there, so you can see it's actually holding the main pillar that is holding the bridge deck. It is actually there. And then there's two or three others that are on the side that hold the bridge in place. So the point I'm making is that even if you took away the paving blocks and you took away the sand from there, 
the bridge would still be standing. That is the point we are making. So uh, uh, from an engineering technical assessment point of view, what had been done, the engineer went and checked what could have been the cause and whether there has been an impact on the bridge structural integrity and whether the bridge uh, is actually good for use or would need to be closed. And we are saying that the bridge does not need to be closed. What needs to be done is we will actually repair the section that is underneath, of which currently our workers are actually uh, going to do the backfill and also fix the stormwater system, starting from the top, cleaning it, and then the V-drain, and then actually uh, ensure that the, the, the water channel from underneath mm. uh, going into the water collection point is actually cleared and put in place so that should it rain on any other day between now and, and in a week's time, we would, not be, we would not be having a similar situation where there would be the erosion of that sand. Curious though it that, Mr. Nodu, curious though yeah. that in your statement you thought it necessary to add the words at the moment, uh, safe for use at the moment. What does that mean? Why couldn't you leave it at the bridge is safe for use, full stop? No, no, no. I think we misunderstood each other. So what is happening is that the section that is being worked under the bridge, we are going to do interim work purely because we will only be able to get contractors that can actually come and do a permanent fill and, and finalization of the rehabilitation works on that section when we open after the... the yeah, the, that's the, not the, the misunderstanding. I'm asking about the words at the moment. Um, you could have stopped at that bridge is safe for use. Full stop. That, no, that, that gives more assurance than saying the bridge is safe for use at the moment. That suggests no, that to, 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 to the right, situation could change. The brief, okay, I, w I, w I will repeat myself. The brief is safe, period. The work at the moment was in, was, was, uh, in continuation to another statement that I was making. But the bridge is safe for use and it can continue okay. to be used. And we guarantee that as the JRA. And we are not going to change any other statement. However, we will continue to do the interim repair works at the, mo okay. uh, 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 at the, at the section under Last, the bridge. That's, that's the clarity I needed, Mr. No. Do you you yes, clarify yes. the situation. Last yeah, one then. Yeah, How many yeah. bridges are you concerned about in the city of Johannesburg? We just recently came out of the long protracted um, rehabilitation of, of, yes. of another section of the, in fact, the M2 uh, highway, uh, one of the sections there. But my understanding is that there are a number of these bridges that you are concerned about. Which ones are they? Yeah, yeah there are 50 bridges that we are concerned about uh, uh, around the city, uh, of which about 14 of those bridges are actually on the, on the uh, M2 section, and uh, about eight of those are on the M1 section. And then all the other bridges then are strewn around uh, throughout the city. Those 50 bridges, uh, 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 Mr. Simelan, we are handling in, uh, on the basis of priority because they are the ones that need urgent uh, attention. Uh, but obviously, as you would know with these things, this is always subject to availability of funding. So with the M2, for example, having been done, that would have been part of those that uh, those bridges that are very critical that need urgent attention and work is continuing on the other bridges as well within that group of 50. So you're so saying the work made, that needs to yeah. be done is urgent but you still allow motorists to drive over those uh, bridges that you say need urgent work is that responsible? It is responsible because when we talk about urgent works we are not saying that the bridge uh, has collapsed or is about to collapse. But what we mean by urgent is that those are the bridges that when there is money, we need to prioritize over the others. That is basically what we are saying. You need to understand that the bridges are actually based on the assessment that is done on them uh, in terms of the bridges management system. You've got bridges that would be very good. You've got bridges that would be good. You then would have the bridges uh, that are acceptable. You would have those that are poor and those that are very poor. So what we are doing is to make sure that the bridges that are poor and those uh, that are very poor 
are actually brought to a stage where they would also be acceptable. Right. And those that are, are acceptable would also be moved to a stage at which they would be good. The whole idea is just to make sure that we prioritize. And I can show you, uh, uh, Mr. Sumelan, should it happen, for example, that during our assessment that we are doing on the bridges on a, on a continuous basis, we pick up something to the extent that the structure has been comp compromised, we will do exactly what right. we've done with the M2, whereby right. we would actually close the all right, Mr. Notu, thank you so much yeah. for that update. Uh, that is Siabonga okay. Notu, who is the acting okay. managing director of the Joburg Roads Agency, talking to us about the situation on one of the bridges in Boisen here in Johannesburg. Let's